Serato Sample versus Ableton Sampler. Which one is for you? First, let's talk about Serato Sample. Serato Sample is a plugin that is made by Serato that allows you to chop and manipulate samples with ease. Ableton Sampler is also a sampler that allows you to chop and manipulate samples. While they're both similar, they both have small differences that I feel caters to different audiences. So let's get started. First, we'll talk about the pros of Serato Sample. So on Serato Sample, you can time stretch individual chops. The reason why I consider this a pro is because say you're making a beat and the sample is sounding good, but one chop is a little too fast or too slow. You can easily time stretch that sample to fit the rhythm. So you'll easily be able to manipulate the timing of that chop. And the reason why I consider that a pro is because I haven't found a way to do that on Ableton's Simpler. Up next, you can transpose individual chops. So say you have a sample and you're chopping it up and a few chops just don't have the right melody or the chords just aren't right. Since you can transpose individual chops, you can essentially create new chords or new melodies just by changing the pitch up or down. And again, that's a feature that I haven't found on Ableton Simpler. Up next and last for the pros of Serato Sample, they just have a good flow. I feel like on Serato Sample, you can easily just throw a chop in, slice it up and get a little quick pattern. Whereas on Ableton Simpler, there's a few steps you have to go through first. First, you have to drop the sample into Ableton, warp up the sample just to make sure the timing is right. Or if you're not gonna warp it, just throw it in. And then I feel like chopping on Ableton just isn't as smooth because on Ableton, you have to actually click in where you want the chops. Whereas on Serato Sample, you can play that sample and just hit the keys or the pads where you want those chops to be. And I found that to be an effective way to get a good flow. Now that we talked about the pros, let's talk about the cons of Serato Sample. For Serato Sample, I don't know if it's just me, but some of the parameters just don't work. A few months ago, I got a new computer and on my old computer, I thought, hmm, parameters aren't working. It must be the computer. Uh, computer is a little old. Then I got this new computer at the same issue, had the latest version of Serato Sample and the parameters just weren't working. So I consider that a con. Another thing is warping on Serato Sample just isn't as good as Ableton's. So while you can warp the timing of a sample on Serato Sample, it's nowhere near as good as Ableton's warping capabilities. Um, a workaround on that is to simply warp the sample before you drop it in Serato Sample. But if you're gonna be doing all that work, you might as well just throw it into the sampler. While there isn't really too many cons, another con that I have, if you can consider this a con, is Serato Sample hasn't been updated in a while. I don't know why they haven't updated it. Uh, I'm pretty sure if they dropped an update, uh, the parameters would start working, but it's been a pretty long time since they updated Serato Sample. And at this point, if you're really looking for that Serato Sample interface, you might as well get Serato Studio. It has the same exact sampler and the sampler on Serato Studio also has a new overpowered feature, which is called Serato Sims, where you can basically just take out the drums, the vocals, the melody, the bass line, uh, and separate them uh, into individual tracks, which is killer. Something that even Ableton Simpler doesn't have, but this video isn't about Serato Studio. Up next, let's talk about the pros of Ableton Simpler. So on Ableton Simpler, a pro that you have is different warp modes. So whenever you're warping or you're changing the timing, uh, and manipulating the waves of a sound file or wave mp3 file it affects the sample and the sound and a lot of the times it's pretty obvious uh, and it doesn't sound too good but thankfully on ableton they have different warp modes so they have beats uh read pitch complex complex pro and all these different warp modes uh basically enhance the sample uh, to sound as clear as possible or to re-pitch the sample based on how far you stretch it or uh, compress the sample or whatnot. So 
I consider that a pro because while you can essentially warp on Serato Studio, having different warp modes is definitely a big up. Next up on the pros for Ableton's Simpler is built-in filters and LFOs. So Serato Sample also has uh, a built-in filter but once again, the parameter knobs do not work, so there's no way for me to use it. But even if they did work, I feel like uh, Ableton's Simpler has a much better filter, uh, being that you can control the frequency, the resonance. They also have a built-in LFO. So, I mean, you can manipulate things like the pitch envelope. You can manipulate the uh, stereo spread. You can even manipulate the panning, which you can also do that on Serato Sample. But I just feel like on uh, Ableton, they offer a few extra features or whatnot, which gives it the upper hand. Now that we talked about the pros for Ableton Simpler, let's talk about the cons. The cons for Ableton Simpler is one, you don't have control over individual chops. Say if you want to time stretch just one chop, not the whole sample. There's no way to do that unless you drop uh, the file into Ableton, rewarp the whole sample and all that, and, and move the, the warp marker on that individual section and then drop it back into Simpler. There's not a quick way to do it like you can do it on Serato Sample. So I consider that a con. Next is you can't warp samples after dropping it into the Simpler. I feel like this is a con because they give you this big interface and they show you the wave files clearly, but they don't give you a way to manipulate the warp markers inside of the sampler. Um, that will be game changing as well. And the only way to work around that is to, you know, fix the problem or handle the problem before you drop it into sampler, because if not, you'll be stuck with that wave file. Maybe there is a way and I just haven't discovered it. If there is, let me know in the comments, but as of now, I haven't figured it out. And last but not least, I feel like the flow on Ableton Simpler isn't as good as Serato Samples and it can kind of be confusing for newer producers. So I remember when I first, first got Ableton and uh, I want to sample something, I'll be honest, I was confused. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Um, I had to hurry up and go to YouTube to watch this tutorial on how to chop samples. And it can be even more confusing because they have a uh, instrument on here called Sampler. So any new pr producer is gonna automatically, you know, assume that's where you go and chop samples. But it's actually in the Sampler. And not only that, but, um, you'll get your 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 chops or throw it in the sampler and the time just isn't right because it's warped up and, it, and the time is just wonky so i mean you might not know that you have to drop it and warp it before dropping it into the uh, uh sampler so uh, that's i consider that a, a con because you know unless it was um uh, catered towards new producers and advanced uh producers it wouldn't be that serious, but since I feel like newer producers might be a little confused, being that I was confused at least when I was a new producer on Ableton. But with that being said, who are these samplers made for? While Serato Sample does have, you know, a few cons like parameter knobs not working or uh, the warping not being that good, I feel like this uh, plugin will be perfect for newer producers being that it's easy and it provides a, a good flow whenever you're making beats. Um, I got When I got this new computer, uh, I installed Ableton, but I also in, kept using Serato Sample because I just loved how easy and quick the flow was. Uh, just recently, I started using the sampler on Ableton just because I wanna have a little bit more control over my samples. As for Ableton Simpler, I feel like this is good for intermediate to advanced uh, producers. Once you really do get down Ableton Simpler, you can do loads of things. You can find many workarounds uh, over the cons that I just mentioned. So for example, you don't have control over indiv individual chops. You can drop the uh, chop into the sampler and then uh, I believe right click and drop it into a drum rack. And then basically just has individual chops where each one has its own little sampler channel. So that way you can manipulate chops on the go. 
But then again, that's not something that somebody who's new is gonna know how to do or gonna even think about. So that's why I feel like this is catered towards intermediate to advanced producers. So with all that being said, which one do you rock? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you feel like is better? Let me know in the comments and yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm trying to get my subs up and make sure you like the video. I'm trying to get these videos out there. I'm really trying to grow now. So uh, help a brother out and yeah, with all that being said, peace out.